So, I just arrived in Edinburgh and now I'm waiting for my train to Newcastle, which I found already. It's gonna be there on platform 19. Looks pretty nice. Hey dudes, so I probably didn't explain what's happening. Um, basically, my work sent me to Newcastle from Glasgow to do some extra training, as if I needed some. Basically, the idea is that I'm gonna spend a week in Newcastle to work and I decided to use that opportunity to take my cameras with me and just make a vlog out of it. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. I've just arrived. I've never been to Newcastle before. It looks like a nice city, but I didn't have enough time to explore it yet. So I now need to go to work and then later I'll come back and I don't know, the vlog will continue from there and you're coming with me. It was a really long trip. I had to go from Glasgow to Edinburgh and from Edinburgh to Newcastle with two different trains. We'll see where this vlog is gonna go from now. That's pretty much it for now. I need to get dressed, I need to get changed, need to get my shit and I'll go into the city and we'll see how interesting this Newcastle is. If you're from Newcastle, leave a like or tell me downstairs that you're from Newcastle, so I know. Okay, that's it for now. Good morning dudes, this is day 3 in my stay in Newcastle. Now 
I have to go to work again. Yay. It's what? Six in the morning? Alright, so we finished work for today and then I'm just gonna go to hotel and see if I wanna go outside more or I'm just gonna edit the previous videos that I have. If we're not gonna go outside today, although we actually will probably, I need to get some food and I still wanna explore the city, but if not, then we could do a hotel room tour. I've never done those ones before. You know, when I was coming to Newcastle, I had all these plans and ideas of how I'm gonna do the whole Casey Neistat staying in a hotel, vlog all day, edit all night, upload videos, and then I just ended up with thousands of useless footage and it makes no story whatsoever. And I'm too tired to edit any videos whatsoever. I just wanna eat and go to sleep and then I don't really want to walk around and enjoy the city even though I've never been here and it could be so cool but the weather is not so nice it's like a typical Glasgow weather but yeah it's just interesting how your expectations against reality and the worst thing is it's not even that bad I mean I have everything that I need and it's not raining so I technically could go out and I could edit my videos but I'm just lazy Okay, just because I have nothing better to do, we're just gonna do a hotel tour and I'll explain how the things are here for me. We're just gonna start from the very beginning. So this is my hotel. This is my bed, very comfortable bed right here. Then we also have a holy Bible. I don't know how people who have different religious beliefs feel about it, but that's my work setup my beautiful 2009 macbook pro that still works for some reason it's total shite but i still edit my videos on it then this is my work clothes on these super cool hangers that you can't steal then i have extra pillows but these two are very thick boys anyways have this neon light this would be a great place to do my country videos. That's my lounge chair or whatever. This is where I would lounge after a very hard day at work, I guess. My work's not that hard. I got some bananas and I got some Pringles and tea. If I'm a thirsty bitch, then this is my suitcase, the cheapest crap in the world. These are my shoes, my only pair of shoes that I brought with me, comfortable enough. My backpack, and then this is the weirdest thing ever. There's only one port in the wall for electricity. What if I wanna charge my phone and my laptop at the same time? Like, we have a lot of electrical appliances in our lives. Some art pieces, TV, which I would never use, so mirrors, just in case someone's brave enough to look into them. And then we also have a bathroom. I have a bath. I don't have a bath at home, but I have a bath here. It's my sink. Got my wooden toothbrush. And soap comes in a box like this the same way as with shampoo got some towels and i got some new toilet paper just in case i take a lot of sh that's pretty much it this is my wee room i actually kind of like it ah the only thing i want to show you this weird view outside the window which is the smoking area which actually looks really beautiful from outside right like it's like this really nice place if someone walks by and i'm filming or if i would be two people here, like people just look at me, so I just have to keep the curtains closed at all times. Okay, that's my V room tour. Now I'm just gonna grab something to eat because I'm a hungry boy. Now I'm charging my little baby. And I mean, I'm not sure if I'm gonna fly today, but it's better to be safe than sorry and have a good battery in case you wanna fly, right? Right. And for some reason, my charger heats up like really hot. I think it's gonna burn down the whole building. Hopefully not, but do I have any fire extinguishers in my room? No, I don't. Oh well, good luck. Okay, now I'm just gonna pretend to work for a while so that it looks like I'm actually making videos or something or some people do that to make things look cooler, but yeah. 
So, I did go outside after all, and the weather is beautiful, it's a sunset now. I did fly my drone just a little bit, but I think there was very strong magnetic interference. So, I had to stop because the drone was acting up a little bit, but I'll maybe find another spot, I don't know. I keep trying to find a really nice place to fly the drone, but it keeps failing all the time. I'll have one more idea where to go, and if that fails, we're just going home. So that's it for today. planning to fly a drone in Newcastle, you don't have to worry about police or disturbing pedestrians or people in general. The main thing you have to worry about is seagulls. Those flying white shits tried to attack my drone about 50 times if, whenever I fly. I think I got enough good aerial shots, so now I'm just heading back to the hotel and see what I got. And no, I'm not gonna edit anything tonight because I'm a lazy piece of shit. If there's ever a place on earth where you're gonna get shot on by a bird, this is it. You always have to go through these dark little alleys. And it's a bit of a gamble. You never know if you're gonna get stabbed or not. So, I'm back in the hotel, I did manage to get some good drone shots in the end. That's it for today's video, I need to get some sleep, I need to be back at work at 6.30 and the journey will continue from tomorrow. Cool, bye! Good morning dudes, this is day 4 out of 5 and I'm already awake, it's like 6 in the morning, I need to go to work quite soon, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get some breakfast and then I'll run off to work and I'll see you after that, just checking in. Today I'm actually gonna spend the most of my day in the hotel, video editing, I think I filmed everything I wanted and I'll just have some rest and not walk around like crazy. Also I already have to start packing my suitcase back which is yay fun but yeah so I'm leaving tomorrow so I'm leaving in the middle of the day so I'll have to check out and grab my suitcase with me to work and then I'll grab the train back home. Yeah so I'm gonna keep calm today and not make a big run around again. I, I think I have enough footage anyways. So I finished work today, that's it for me for today and now I'm going to try to find the supposedly best vegan burger in Newcastle. Of course I'm going to take it home because I don't like being outside but it's going to be fun. And it's supposedly somewhere on this street. I'll try. Look at this cute wee baggy I got. So I'm back in the hotel and this is supposedly the best vegan burger in Newcastle with some chips and a wee beer. Looks pretty cool, looks promising. I need to get some napkins, but otherwise, let's have a try.
All right, I'm hungry, so let's try out the best vegan burger in Newcastle. Tasty mofo. Need to get the full taste in, right? You know what? I'm not sure if I would call this the best one in Newcastle, but then again, this is the only Newcastle burger I've had except the McDonald's vegan burger. So this is the best vegan burger in Newcastle that I've had, but in the world of all the vegan burgers that I've had, I think the Ibiza one is still the number one winner, but this is a very strong second place. I love the sauce. Um, the price was really good, so you get a pack of fries and a burger for $9.90 together, which is a good price, I would say, because of the size of it as well. I'm pretending to be a real food reviewer, right? Burger patty, which is supposed to be the chicken one. It's all right. It's not bad. I've definitely had worse, which tastes terrible, and I've spent more money about it, and then you regret being a vegan. But no, definitely, this is a good one. I like the buns as well and the sauces they made and there's vegan cheese on it. I would definitely recommend this guy. So I got this in Fat Hippo in Newcastle on Shakespeare Street. Customer service was really good as well. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm satisfied. So that's my food review video of the week. So that's it for the food review and now I'm just gonna eat like a normal person. So like a little piggy, but I don't wanna film that. No one needs to see that part unless you do want to see it so then we have to start packing my backpack actually edit some videos i'm still editing my vintage fair video from last week i'm definitely staying in tonight cool so as i told you before i'm leaving newcastle tomorrow and i need to back back up my suitcase now that i'm a travel youtuber i wanted to show you guys a travel tip on how to pack your suitcase back to the way it was when you packed it back home. It's always messy and everything is ruined, but you just want to make sure that it's neat back again. So this is a quick tip from me. So you have your suitcase open and the lid is far away so it's easy for or you to see where things are and it doesn't disturb you. So this is how I do it in a few simple steps. Let's get on with the video. So the very first thing I want to do is I have my things, I have my suitcase and done. I'm ready to go back home. So guys, if you need any more travel tips from a travel vlogger like me, let me know down in them comments and I will be sure to make any more videos of whatever you want as long as you watch them and give me money for it. Good morning, this is day five and this is the last day. So now I have to quickly pack everything up into backpacks because I actually now I have to check out. And yeah, this is probably a bit by bit end of my Newcastle travel work or vlog or whatever this thing is. And yeah, I'm gonna get things packed away. I did most of my packing yesterday anyways. And yeah, just gotta go. It was fun. Okay, that's it from me. I packed all my shit. Hope I didn't forget anything, otherwise I'll be very sad. But I'm going to work and ready to check out from this hotel. Thanks hotel for a nice sleep. And I'll see you probably never in my life. Hey, right, let's go. This is it. I'm done with work and I'm heading back to Glasgow. Well, first I'm heading back to the train station. Bye bye, hotel. 